Sagittarius, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a past life timeless reading set in the 1900s, of very early 1900s, relating to a situation that's affecting your life today. Now, I have chosen the tower card here as the significated card representing a past life. We have the clouds, so there seem to be some misunderstandings and a lot of uncertainty back in that lifetime may have something to do with the next we'll see as it unfolds we have the whip here which is about heated discussions we have the star which is goals and aspirations and we have the anchor here which could mean that um, you would you know, pursuing your goals or maybe you were feeling stuck whilst pursuing those goals. But uh, I feel that back in this lifetime, sad that you really distance yourself from your troubles. Whatever was going on in your mind, you were trying to distance yourself from that. I feel like you were someone who lacked a lot of guidance and, you know, maybe you shut yourself off from something negative or from anything in your life that was negative or maybe from other people's despairs or you know confusion cutting yourself off from others I felt led to a feeling of disconnect I don't think you were thinking clearly back in this lifetime it was very confusing very aggravating and frustrating experience to deal with you know um some of you may have been dealing with public offices or bureauc uh, bureaucracy. Maybe you refuse to confront yourself with other people's, uh, people's criticism, which could have um, been there with the whip. You know, you were just avoiding conflict. And I felt that you went to a spiral retreat. Maybe um, you meditated there. But you withdrew in order to think about what you truly wished for and what you truly hoped for. You know, just so you could aspire, aspire to excellence. Now, your ideals were very high in that lifetime. And I felt that you daydreamed a lot in your alone time. You wanted to believe that your spiritual goal would not be attached to anything or anyone. You put up a very strong unmovable stable wall of defense back in that life loneliness become your new your new, uh, your new normality uh yeah you know everything was revolving around your pride so you could focus on your achievements now you were only 29 years old when you passed born in 1906 passed in 1935 so i'm seeing if we can get some more information for you from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck and see what comes out for you. See why you did uh, retreat. Thank you. Okay, you wanted to become a better person in this lifetime. And you wanted to feel that way again. But there was confusion arguments in that lifetime. Let's see why. Why there was a lot of troubles in this lifetime. There was some truth that you were trying to find out here. Sag, um, in this lifetime, let's see if we can get a bit more information, please. Some of it came out. You were a wise keeper back then, 
This is something that enlightens you. You're a very wise person, well informed. But it had something to do with being wounded. You're a wounded healer back in this lifetime. Now, this could have been over a, a lover. I'm feeling. Now, today it's affecting your lifetime. So it's a situation back then. You know, this is memories of feeling clouded. Maybe due to... Um, being assaulted or abused in this lifetime maybe it's hidden abuse because uh, the book does represent secrets now maybe there's some violence parading as something else um, I feel like this is paralyzing your feelings of guilt or shame this is so strong that it clouds your mind okay and it's coming back up again this has to do with an unclear argument and maybe maybe it's with the same person from that past the feeling of becoming uh, desensitized to insults and aggression now in this life today you're losing yourself through the wrong kind of spirituality and that's what's confusing you you want to become that better person. You want to feel the way you felt in that lifetime. Um, but, you know, this is the wrong kind of spirituality that's confusing what your life meaning is meant to be. Not knowing what you truly want, maybe. And, you know, daydreaming too much like you did in the past. It's making you lose sense of what's real. You know, you don't know whom or what you can trust in this lifetime. Now, it's hard to aspire to something when you don't see the purpose of anything. Okay, so you've lost this sense of reality. Just because an overactive imagination is clouding your judgment. You're holding on to, uh, you know, to hope desperately. And the situation... Is making you feel unhappy with how things are at the moment as you're trying to aspire to more to reach your goals you may have this strong faith which offers a foothold okay and you may just need to uh, focus on your dreams and hopes everything revolves around your spirituality but you are definitely conflicted between wanting to reach for the stars and your daily routines and obligations that you have okay maybe it's your uh, career that's holding you back but you are stuck in this daydream and you're holding on to some sort of an illusion now back in that lifetime you could have had gray hair you could have um, been a smoker or a drinker you're very uh, muscly if you're a male um, or very had big bosoms if you're a woman you definitely had beautiful beautiful sparkly eyes maybe a birthmark on the cheek and uh, I don't feel that you were uh, overweight in any way but if you're a woman you had wide hips so I feel that you're very career orientated though uh but it's more on a spiritual uh spiritual side of things now i've added up all your norman cards and it adds up to a 55 which is uh intertwined with this concept of your or destiny okay it's symbolizing that pivotal changes are aligning with your unique life path in this lifetime now rather than resisting these changes he said the celestial encourages you to embrace them wholeheartedly by doing this you're going to set in motion a sequence of events that's going to harmonize with your higher purpose and it definitely will propel you towards realizing your true potential so i am sending you lots of blessings and i'll See you again real soon.
Bye for now.